people. That booty yeah. hole. <laughs> the hole. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, that's that's some spread that, that, up. <laughs> that would be That's that's abuse. Yeah. You, you, t- you <laughs> tell the kid to spread that cheek. That's that abuse. <laughs> Shut up! Welcome to the Real and Real Pod. My name is David, and I am here with my kung fu loving yes, co-host. Oh my goodness, guys. Nope, we're not going to go down it. No, 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 no. Okay, I was going to say no. one thing. This is one sentence. Oh, one sentence. Y'all, kung fu is real. That's it. Yeah, they know it's real. No, no, no. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, uh, first and foremost, sorry about Monday. Apparently, something happened to the audio where randomly it would just cut out. Right now, I've shut down all applications. This is the only one running. Hopefully, it gets all of our audio and nothing bad happens. <sighs> Please. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, also, I hope you guys enjoy the Flick Fails uh, that was out. Uh, all weekend go back enjoy that and watch a movie with us they probably weren't there's some of you if you were in georgia you didn't have power to be it's able a to podcast enjoy. so it would have been you could you know some people don't have unlimited data oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay well my 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 wife i was working so i was okay some people's powers was was not what their power people's power went out but you have your laptop power if the power goes out the wi-fi goes out no it doesn't all the time there was a battery in my wi-fi Oh, yeah, my sick. power went out and my Wi-Fi was Who still... Who you got as a uh, <laughs> provider? Because if my power go out, Wi-Fi go out as well. You can change that box to where you have one with a battery so it, you know, it backs up. Oh. So it lasted for about... For us to watch a full series of analytical on... Uh, huh. I mean, atypical on Netflix. <clears throat> so, All right, I'll you know. be calling Xfinity <laughs> after this. No, I'm switching to Xfinity because... No, no, we don't We don't have batteries. I need to ask if they have batteries. Oh, yeah, ask if they have batteries. Yeah, my, yeah probably. Yeah, yeah. I'll but, let um, you know. Oh, thank you, because that, that's the information I need. But um, anyway, on to the show. Here on The Real and Real, we take a concept, a character, and ask the question, what if it or they were in the real world? We take five minutes to come with three points each, and we discuss. Eve, tell us what the question is today. What if all married couples had to live with other married couples? This is based on the movie Mother, <laughs> starring about what? Jennifer Lawrence. Okay, as far as I can tell from the trailer, because it looks weird. She is married to her husband, married to her husband. She has a husband and um, they're in a house and then some couple comes over and starts living with them and they're acting kind of odd and strange and stuff. So I was like, okay, then all of a sudden weird stuff starts happening in the house. More people come over and he and the husband's like, they're here to see me. And I was like, who are you? What is up with this? Is this a scary movie? It looks like a thriller thing. I don't know. What's, what's the difference between a thriller and a scary movie? Because a scary it can't a, th- a scary movie can be a thriller but a thriller is not always a scary movie like a horror like it is a horror film like a scary movie it's a scary movie yes horror <laughs> scary yes right thriller. but a thriller is for instance uh, Gone drama. Girl could be a thriller oh yeah I see that as more as like a drama but it's still thrilling at the same time <laughs> a thrilling drama <laughs> or um you know what? One of my favorite movies that came out is called Sicario. That is a thriller type movie. It's very intense. Very like you're like on the edge of your seats when you watch that movie. Hmm. So it's called Sicario. Yes. Did I say that right? Yeah, you did. Oh. Following year. Okay. Sicario came out right. Maybe not following year, but Sicario came out mm-hmm. after that. Hella high water. Same writer. Then the writer wrote another movie. Mm. Okay. Came out this year uh-huh. called Wind River. I love this movie. So I bought Sicario and Hell High Water. I don't buy a lot of movies. Oh, I so need now to give you a movie back. To, what movie? In, uh, Inception. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. And so I haven't, you know, I don't watch movies like that. Mm-hmm. I don't buy movies like that. I mean, so I bought it and I was like, ooh, this one has to be bought too. So now I have a trilogy of this man's work. Aww. And this was his first director debut. So can I borrow Sicario? Mm. Back to the movie. I... <laughs> I don't know if I want to see this movie. It looks odd. It looks weird. It sounds stupid. It sounds creepy. It but... sounds like an, a swingers. No, no, no. It's like a weird. It, if you see the if you see the trailer, it's just really weird. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm sure it'll get a bunch of rewards because it looks like one of those type of movies. Like it's going for awards or whatever. Like some nominations for something. Oh, like maybe um, aesthetics type thing. I said aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> visual that's what i meant to go oh, okay like, uh okay um yeah. but yeah uh so yeah i'm not sure but anyway uh back to the question what if all couples had to live with, with only couples. other couples uh three points in five minutes three two one go 
And we're back. And the question was, what if married couples could only live with other married couples? Ladies first. Well, my first point was very easy. I said that there would be less need for marriage counselors because if you're living at home with other married people, the big, the reason you go to a marriage counselor, other than the fact that your wife said, let's go. Is, or husband. Whatever. Husband can want marriage counselors he too. He can too. Good for him. Okay. And... Um, you have, you need someone from an outside opinion, you know, someone that has no, what if they're messed up too? Everyone's messed up. No, what if they're like, no, 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 (laughs) no. Well, counselors went to school and have some type of uh, knowledge of some things. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what if they're on, what's a horrible couple in a movie? I mean, a show or movie. Um, Oh, what if, what if, Uh wow, wrong person. My first thought was Helga Helga G. Pataki from Hey Arnold. Like, (laughs) What, what if she gave you counseling? I think there'd be a problem with that. Um, what's another couple? Like, uh, I can't think of any couples in movies right now. That were bad. Just period. I wouldn't take any marriage counseling from any Disney female characters, for instance. <laughs> no? I feel like they have some type of mm, not good track record. Uh Either Ooh. the guy, okay, Aladdin. She he he lied to her the whole time. I don't think I'd take any advice from her. The girl from Frozen, okay, she was locked herself up, and the other one almost married a crook. Um, mm-hmm. So there you go. Uh, who else we got? Brave. That girl does not want to get married. Pocahontas. She does not like no, who she no, was supposed no. to get she married to. She doesn't want to get married. She doesn't want to become the leader. No. She no, she to- didn't want to be married. She didn't want to be married to somebody who she didn't love. She didn't want to be married, period. Because their parents were trying to marry off to do some treaty things. She's like, I'll fight for my own hand. Because she didn't want to be married. <laughs> Plus, she's too well, young. Well, she didn't want to be auctioned off. She didn't want to be married, period. Nah. I had to go back and watch yeah, it. Yeah, go back and watch it. See? Please. Show, tell me I'm wrong. Watch Brave 2. She's going to have a love interest. They have no Brave 2. That was not a hit. It, oh. It's not coming back. Trust me. No. It's the least movie that anybody cares about to come back. No, oh, I like that movie. <laughs> But yeah, so, uh, yeah, what if that person is messed up? What if the, you have a messed up couple? I mean, <clears throat> why would you want to take advice from them? Well, like, you know, why would you take advice from a broken, like, when people say that, uh, why would you take advice from, from someone? From a single person? Yeah, but the single person is always, like, messing up a relationship. You don't take advice from them. You know they have a bad track record. So, no, let it go. <laughs> let it go. But this is how this is how you switch it up because you take the you listen to the advice they give, and then you know what not to do because you hear oh how gosh. crazy they are, and you're like, you know what? I realize that my relationship not so bad. You know, I can okay. So you said I should not cook for him for two weeks and not clean up anything. And not do X, Y, and Z and let him figure it out. Well, okay. Now what that sounds like is that I do need to talk to him and we need to work out different times of who's going to cook and who's going to clean. So you're going to take all their stuff as the opposite. Yes. If and what if the different. other person in that relationship tells you the opposite of what they said? But they both jacked up. What did? Well, we are, we weren't born to be monogamous. That's what you think. That's facts. No, that's not a fact. We weren't born to be monogamous. No, that's not a fact. Where does it say we're supposed to be monogamous? But it doesn't say that we're not supposed to be monogamous. Exactly. So we don't know what. We but you just said it was fact. <laughs> <laughs> fact that we don't know either. What? There you have it. I'm done. That was the stupidest point. <laughs> you looking for we weren't point? born not to rob banks. Um, there you but go. But we weren't supposed to. But there's nothing saying. <laughs> Shouldn't try to rob me. Yeah, there's signs. There's signs that tell you not to do that. No, they're not actually. What do you think? There are there are signs that say there are signs that say don't like, rob us. <laughs> hey, all right. So it's like, hey, free for all. Yep, true. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Okay. Okay. Um my first point is that there will be more open relationships. You know, I was going to go that route, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but I did. Yes. Yeah. Here's why I say that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. I might love you. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're married. We're living together. We're mar- we're living with another married couple. Okay. Or you, you and Oculus Rift are married. Me and another one person are married. Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, maybe me and her get in a fight. Okay. Mm-hmm. And she runs off to like she's sitting in the living room one day, and Oculus Rift is like, "What's what's wrong? 
What's, mm-hmm. what's, what's happening? And then um, she he she she tells him what happened. He's like, oh, that was horrible because you know he you deserve this 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 this. She's like, you know what? You're right. Mm-hmm. And she maybe develops a crush on him, mm-hmm. but she he's saying you know you know keeping right. them boundaries because right. i love my woman's okay right. but then one day his woman's you you're the woman's mm-hmm. does something and he runs and tells her and says oh, this happened to this she's like i would never do that to you because you deserve this 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 <laughs> this right so then they're like you know what we don't want to cheat so let's sit down our significant others and say hey guys oh hey guys you know we realize sometimes you get on our nerves and we get on your nerves. Okay. How about when that happens, we flip flop, you know, and get with the other person, you know, for just a limited time until we cool down and return to the people we originally love. Okay. So like, you know what? We want a happy family, happy relationship. <laughs> sure. So they come to the conclusion, more open relationships. There you go. Oh, I mean, you didn't have to explain that. I was completely with it. I actually have lived through, not personally, but what? with <laughs> another friend, lived through a situation. That's exactly how it Do went down. Do you mean down. vicariously or you were in the room? Um, I mean, times I was there, but it was because of mutual friends. Like, I had friends that experienced this and I experienced with them because they told me what happened. I don't think that works that way. What? So I've been to... The top of Mount Everest. Not personally, but a friend told me the story. <laughs> they told me what the and, top and, of it looked like. What it looked like, and I felt like I was there when I closed there my you eyes. Go. So technically, I've been there. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. it's not. <laughs> yes, yes, that's how it went down. No. Um, yeah. Okay. What's your next point? My next point does make sense. Because <laughs> <laughs> if they don't, is that the rest of them don't? <laughs> that's <Is> funny. That, <laughs> okay, there would be more. Okay, all items now in the home, and I do mean from food to clothing to pillowcases, would come with an automatic Engraver? label. I thought of that, but that's too much going into it. Well, I thought in. pillows, if I got to wash it, won't it rub off if it was just a... Well, if it's, it's going to be a label slot. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. So just like you have a label maker, and then you have um, like your folders, your labels, little tabs and things. Gotcha. It's going to be on all of your things that way we don't accidentally throw away something that's not yours and you don't or have to I worry. just don't use what's mine well no see you have your spouse so you don't know what your spouse may have bought so instead of worrying about the headache of texting her calling her is it just my spouse's name or is it our name like it's our last everybody's name. name in the house oh each person no like if that's your pillow it's gonna have david's name on it oh i but, thought you meant like my last name and oh, our no, last no, no. name your was, first you, name first name oh, oh mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. It's also, so you don't look, use my stuff. <laughs> yes, and that as well. Use my stuff. I went with throw away because right now we don't know, but Oculus Rift may have thrown away all of my Black Canary things. And How do you like, mess that up? Because he was cleaning. I mean, it's not his Black Canary stuff. He was cleaning, and it all was in a white trash bag of so, sorts. So, 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 so. Um, your stuff was in a trash bag mm-hmm. and he might have thrown away the trash bag. Yes, the trash bag that he suggested I put it in. So, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Right, I was right. about to say. Right, well, we go say, there. I There's a reason why it was all in there. I was about to say. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Why would he suggest to put it in a trash bag? Maybe he really didn't like it. Oh, no, because it was when carrying it and going to the con and walking, it's just easier that way. And if something spills, like if you have that bag inside of a book bag and water gets on it, it's just going to leak off versus soaking through. This sounds like a first-hand account. Like he's been through something like yeah, this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he he's he has trash. This is a this is a um a hack a, a con hack for yes. people who go to the con. <laughs> put your put your uh comic con. What is it called? Yeah, uh, in, um, uh, cosplay, yeah, cosplay in a trash bag. Yeah. This Preferably, a, yeah, maybe take bag. it out of the bag when you get back to your house, your significant yeah. other's house, because they might throw it away because mm-hmm, they're clean. Okay. So yes. this point came from a direct pain. Yes. <laughs> that yes. might have personally happened. <laughs> Where he maybe threw your stuff away, yes. and so you you label it and said, "Hey, mm-hmm. this is hers." Mm-hmm. Huh, I could see how that could backfire. Like someone was like, "Yeah, I knew it was yours." <laughs> now <laughs> that's the, the that's why I throw it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe don't. Oh, I knew that was your yogurt. That's why I ate it. <laughs> These these are things. These are real real life events. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. yes. They're scary. They're yeah. scary. Okay. So okay. Um, mm-hmm. Poor black canary. Okay, so my next point is that there will be a rule that only people who find the other couple unattractive can live together. 
It will be a rule that the what? Fine. Only, we'll only, drive okay, so so every couple has to be with another couple. So what you have to do is um, you have to each. You don't just get smashed up with another couple. You have to go to like a like a website or something, I guess, and they're mm-hmm. matching up like people. A Tinder swipe left swipe. Yeah. Swipe, uh, no, no, no. Swipe. Less Tinder because you don't get to decide technically. Mm-hmm. It's the government. It's like how would this matchup be? How would this matchup be? And they're like, okay, this will work. This will work. This will work. And before you, they can match you up. You have to okay it. So what they do is they they like. Um, put sensors on your body mm-hmm. and they show you the picture of the opposite sex of the person who will be living with you mm-hmm. to check to see if you have any arousal points okay mm-hmm. they strip out their clothes see if you arouse at any points mm-hmm. okay if you are not then you're okay to live with that person but what if because alcohol is the thing you know drugs oh my goodness i also wait want... what no i'm getting to the point speaking of just so you know you know you heard of a roofie before right Right. I okay. wish they could see my face. I wish they could see my face. <laughs> You'd be surprised when people don't know. There's Roofie, a... I think everybody knows. No, because yeah. somebody's listening. What's, What's roof? Roofie? Is that a roofer? <laughs> like, what? Is that a different kind of roof? For anyone who does not know, a roofie is what they call now in the 21st century, the dating drug. Hey, it co- it's gone by different names. No, you said 21st century. Like, in every century that I know of, the roofie has you been... You don't know? You ain't lived through the... all them centuries? I doubt. Okay, I'm sure back in the 1800s they weren't calling it a roofie. It might have they, been. I'm just... thinking it was just a club that they knocked you out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's called the date rate drug. That's right. what it is. They something they slip in your drink, you drink it, and then you become. It seems almost overly intoxicated. Long story short, there is a drug that you can literally just say is worse than the roofies. They say this is the world's scariest drug. It's native to Cuba and some other places. Cuba is the only one I know. Good job. <laughs> Cuba and uh, that's all I know Cuba where are you where are you from I'm from Cuba <laughs> yes where you can take it in you know liquid form I mean you, they can drop it in your drink or you can just sniff it do you like, know the name of it it is a couple syllables that I can okay great so we're all should be fearful of whatever this is here now connect it back to the points of apparently that you said it was going to connect somehow oh yes 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 so um, yeah, you have alcohol and drugs, so I may not be aroused by the picture at that moment, but what if down the line something happens, I get intoxicated? That's different. This is just straight off, okay? Um, if you're intoxicated, you can be aroused by anybody. Exactly. That, so that's what I'm that saying. Why is this no, a that, thing? Doesn't, that doesn't affect that. That's this different. That's because that's you got drunk and got aroused by anybody. You can see a dog and get aroused. Who knows? You're drunk. So yeah, what they do is they, they put sensors on your body, put the person in front of you, put mm-hmm. the naked people in front of you, and be like... Are you aroused? And you're like, no. Or do you think it's more unattractive people or more attractive people in this world? I don't think there's either such thing. Here's the thing: everyone's the attracted. To... No, no, no. The beholder. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Sure, that sounds poetic. The best, the the better point is, I mean, the better way to say that is, people are people are attracted to different things. People like different things. That's why all art is subjective. You cannot say this absolutely looks amazing. Like you can't say a person looks the most beautiful to everybody else. Because as much as I watch movies and I see a movie, and I'm like that movie sucks. But that movie only sucks to me because I know somewhere someone out there saw that movie and was like. Oh my gosh, why wasn't this nominated for an Oscar? Oh, <laughs> why S-H. why Ooh. wasn't Catwoman nominated? <laughs> Ooh, why boy, wasn't Cat in the Hat nominated? Why wasn't all the Transformers Cat nominated Cat for was, wait, nominated for what? <laughs> exactly. What, best screenplay. <laughs> Of the year. Why was it? Why was it all the Transformers nominated for Best Oscar of Best Don't Picture? Best they be mm. more in love with that garbage. That. Um, it's like, only because someone passed away. An Oscar for yeah, what? for the for the soundtrack for the apparently. Fake is deaths. Why isn't King Kong nominated for an Oscar? That that gorilla really got me. I saw the pain in his eyes. <laughs> Fun fact: the the guy. Did you ever see King Kong? No. Okay. So in King Kong. Ooh, and I got a fun fact for you. Go ahead. In King Kong, there's a guy that gets separated from the rest of the pack. Um, is that where King Kong comes from? No. Oh. No. What? Oh, no. Oh. Anyway, Wait, that is guy. Monkey, or is this a man? If the man gets separated from the rest oh. of the. What, there's military groups that go there. Mm-hmm. He's one of the military people that get separated from the rest of the group. Oh, okay. He is actually doing the motion capture of King Kong. Oh, that's dope. It is. Look so you got to see. I think his name is Toby Kebbell. But anyway. Okay, yeah. Toby, that's your name? I think so. Oh, I like that name, Toby. <laughs> I like that name Toby. <laughs> nice. Anyway, um what we talking I don't know. I know I went out for the whole rant about a date rape drug and 
Oh, you said because um, they would be attracted. Oh, yeah, you know, we're talking about your point. Yeah, the, yeah. You're, trying but, to, yeah, you're I pretty think, much trying to prevent cheating, correct? Exactly. I'm trying to prevent cheating. But I think that's the thing of... You can't, yes, yes. Not, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing. Here's the uh-huh. thing. I'm not going to deny. Some people, it doesn't even matter how they look. Right. Because during certain times, of course, you could fall in love with that person or just they are there for you. Or fall out of love with whom you marry. Yes, exactly. But... This is just initial reaction. Are you trying? Because here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm more likely. Let's say I'm with you, mm-hmm. and then we go see these people. Would you rather me? Like, yes, I could possibly fall in love with anybody, right? Mm-hmm. But you don't just throw in that temptation automatically. That's why people end up cheating with their nannies. Because I'm, don't throw in some even Mendez looking woman in front of me and be <laughs> like, "Do you like her?" I'd be like, "No," and I get aroused. I'm like, "That's just for the moment." And if you be like, "Okay, that's fine. Let's go on." You want to put that temptation in front of me every day? Well, that's why no. I asked you the question. Do you think it's more unattractive or less attractive? Again, that's not a, not a thing. Hmm. Everyone has oh, their yeah. own. Everyone's attracted to what they're attracted to. I mean. remember that because of that guy. I think I told you this before. When I was I was working at back in my Walmart days, okay, I was walking out from working in the back, which I was not supposed to be working in the back, but they put me <laughs> wherever they want to put me. And one of the guys was like, mm, that looked nice. And he was talking about a girl. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Ugh, that? And then he was like, you like what you like? I like what I like. And that's what really thought. I was like, oh, that hit me. Thanks. Now I see that people have different tastes. Thank goodness, because if you liked whoever I like, mm-hmm. you'd probably get them over me. Because mm-hmm. you're way more confident. So, I mean, there you go. So, mm-hmm. I'm glad that you like who you like because I'm not going to step up to that girl because I don't want to talk to her because she's angry. Do you get to see these results? What do you mean? Like, if like if we're married, do you get to see the people that I got aroused to and the people that I don't? Ooh, better yet, what if... No, I think we should do this separately. That, uh, might, that might start a fight. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Separately, separately. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we messed up. What? If, um... Like we're in separate rooms, mm-hmm. and they're showing us each couple. Uh, like they're showing you the husband and me the wife, right? And like, are you attracted to her? If I'm attracted to her, and I say, uh, "Ooh, yes, I am," and you're like, "No, I'm not," or your body says, "No, I'm not," then they go to the next people until both of us say no. Mm-hmm. What if one of the people like look really similar to one of us? Like look really similar. Like she looked really similar to you. Mm-hmm. And I'll flip that. Hi, he looked really similar to me, and mm-hmm. you're like, "No, I'm not attracted to him at all." <laughs> <laughs> and then. And then we get then we get in the house or whatever. I'm like, you know, you you know, hmm, you didn't see you, it. You, you look kind of familiar. And then people are like, oh, I can see that y'all look alike. So you want to check to them <laughs> at all? Like, bet <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That would be, be funny. Okay, so moving on to your last points. My last point is that there would be more spousal deaths or killings. Maybe. Long story short couple living together oh i thought you were saying something happened recently long story oh no no short. couple have couple happened couple living together life happens other people in the house start looking pretty good she or he i don't think you're allowed to stay with them what do you mean you said if you kill them wait what was, what was your point uh spousal more spousal deaths or killings okay yeah more spousal deaths or killings mm-hmm. so the cheating and you're murdering that other person i thought you were saying for some reason my mind went to like my significant other died and i was living with y'all still right and i was like they still have oh, happiness that, i want to take that, that person you, the, what that invokes the and i would say that you get eviction, kicked out you don't yeah. get the yeah you get conviction mm. but you're saying like i i want to be with you and mm. oculus riff is in the way and i get mm. him murdered exactly but here's the problem with that no, I, I think him. you're doing it by yourself what what do you mean you're killing him you're on your own like you said, you're going to get him murdered. No, no, I think this is all. Okay, I murder him. So, yeah. okay, but here's the thing. I murder him, mm-hmm. right? And I make it look like an accident, whatever I make it look like, suicide, whatever. But then you'll get evicted. So how would that work? Oh. Like, oh am I leaving my wife automatically right then? And I come to you? But then what if you're like, nah, <laughs> like you're not attracted to me? And that's the, hey, that's the risk that I think all affairs or, take. Or <laughs> and are, are, do we already have something and we were cheating together and I get rid of him? And then I divorce her, and then we are. I think we get rid of them both. Oh, you would get rid of her for me? You're so sweet. No, Uh, I've convinced you to do it. I gotta get rid of both of them. I mean, that's your wife. That's your husband. Are you gonna kill your husband? But he's my husband. Why? What? (laughs) (laughs) I'm using this. This would be this would be in a trial. (laughs) Why would I want to kill my husband? That's your wife, though. You know, that's something. Then I would want to kill my wife. If you're not gonna kill your husband, we ain't gonna do like a kill for kill. (laughs) And then what if we degree on that and I ki- and I kill him? And you're like, you know what? I'm not feeling it. I want to still. I want to stick with my my husband. Like I, I kill. I kill. I kill my wife. And then you like, 
nah, I want to keep him around. He bought me a PlayStation 4. I was like, I could have got you one of them. Mm, but he brought it today. Were you going to get me one today? I mean, if you give me a couple of video games, maybe. Maybe. I'm like, wow, you suck. You suck. These, this, I feel like these are real conversations that happen. Anyway, my last point. There would be more child slash parent fights. Like me fighting with my parent. Okay, the reason there be more kid parents fights is that you have kids, I have kids. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's say I my, there's a party coming up, and I said tell my kid they can't go. Okay, mm-hmm. and you tell your kids you can go. They see that and they're like, "Why? Wow, how come Eve's uh, uh, Eve's mom? Yeah, how come? Oh wait, what's your kid's name? Give me a kid name. Oh, Corbin. Okay, how come Corbin's <laughs> mom let her let him? Let All her. right. <laughs> how comes Cor? How come Corbin's mom let him go? Wait. What's uh, Wendy's no, how, his name? Corbin. Ugh, why? Because I love that name. I just love it. Oh, that's going to be connected for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh. No, see, you don't think of it like that. He's also. Corbin Jr. <laughs> Ew, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the original. He's CJ. My little Corp Corp. Okay. Okay, anyway. Uh, and it sounds good. See, anyway. I, need name, I need good names that sound good. Okay, Corbin. Don't sound ghetto. And sound real good when you yell them. If you sound good when you yell them, yelling them, then it's a keeper. Okay. Anyway, so uh, Corbin's, Corp, mom, Corp. Corbin's mom is letting him go. And then I'm like, I, I don't care what Corbin's mom is doing. Uh, you ain't going. So it's like that. Okay, so. So you're not beating your kids? What? For what? I'm just saying. At that I'm, point right then? I was just giving this time of going to the party. <laughs> Why are you beating for mean, a second? I'm not going to the party. I wish my child. Like, what we arguing like, for? You how pay come? bills? <laughs> 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 really messed up. I need him to do I need him to sneak out or something before I go hit him. Like, it's weird. Like, hey, mom. What? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You just punch your no, kids. No, I mean, you tell He was going to say something stupid. In Have regards it. to the fighting. Like, we ain't fighting. No, I didn't mean, like, physical fight. I no. just meant, like, oh, I'm mad at you. And I'm like, yeah, I don't mad. care. Like, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, they will compare with the other parent, you mm-hmm. know, constantly because of what that, what what you do versus what I do. Because we're going to have different discipline rules. Mm. Ours are probably way more similar. But I'm saying with other <laughs> people. that booty yeah. hole. <laughs> the whole... <laughs> Oh my! That's that's some spread. That, that, that would be that's that's abuse. Yeah. You, you, t- you tell the kid to spread that cheek. That's that abuse. Oh, okay. okay. We're gonna end it there. Uh, let's go down the points real quick. Oh, um, my first point was stupid, but it was less marriage counselors needed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There would be label slots on all items in the household, and more spousal deaths. My three points were that there would be more open relationships. There would be a rule that only people who find the other couple attractive can live together. And there would be more parent-children fights. And that's the show, guys. Uh, don't know what you listen to us on, but you can also check us out on iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Play, TuneIn, uh, YouTube. Also on our main hosting channel, Podbean, where you can also donate. Give us a dollar. You get some treats. Or oh, a holler. You also, yeah, you get a holler. <laughs> that was... <laughs> 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 I wish I could hear. Yeah. Oh, you know, what I was gonna say, I wish I could rehear what you just did, and then I was like, "Well, if you post it, yeah, I just wish you can re- do it." Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. You can also uh, when you also get a what's that move show called? What show? Oh, Flix Friday, Flix Thank Flails. You. Flicks, Flicks, Flicks. you also get Flick Fails the early. Yeah, the FFs. <laughs> you also get the FFs. No, you also get Flick Fails early. So, yeah, it'll be fun. You'll have something to do every Friday night. Um, oh. It is something to do with Friday night. But, no, um, I was actually going to say. Friday's Flicks Fails. Anyway, but go ahead. No, I was going to be. Oh, Friday Flicks Fails. Friday Flicks Fail. Say that three times and send it to us on Instagram. We'll give you a prize. <laughs> Legit. I was going to be like, because you said, oh, you know, you have something fun to do every Friday. And I was like, oh, is it really fun them staying in the house just all by themselves? And then I was like, mm, but then that's saying something about our stuff and our stuff is fun. And you can be alone and have some fun. That sounds creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we also have a Facebook and an Instagram and a Twitter. All of these things are at Real and Real Pod. Uh, Eve, where can they find you online? You can find me at Miss Lovely underscore. Say it with me if you like. Cause on Instagram and on Twitter, which I have done nothing on Twitter. I am on Everything. Twitter at 
it's a Christian. Right now, uh, football season has just started, so you're going to maybe get a lot of that as a recently football and football because a lot of home Atlanta United games are happening uh, as of recently. So, and they're kind of, you know, whooping tail. They are. Uh, pff, well, and i tell you that season opener. I mean, not season opener. The, <laughs> the opener in the Mercedes-Benz this past. Did they uh, fix the um, ceiling yet? Uh, it'll open. It's opening this weekend for oh, the okay. Packers game. I mean, it's been ready. It just doesn't open automatically in the span of time that they want it. Mm-hmm. They can still open it anytime they want to. Oh, okay. um, it's just not where I can press the button and be like, like, like you can't do that. But who like, cares? It's gonna take half the game, but it's yeah. gonna open up all the way. Like we'll start early in the morning, and <laughs> by the time the game starts, good to go. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, that's the show, guys. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Adios.